This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Tired of missing out on figures or paying scalper prices at toy stores? Then go ahead and visit DJC Collectibles, my sponsor. You can get 10% on anything Transformers, accumulate points, and sometimes score an exclusive figure you thought you'd miss forever. Head over to DJC Collectibles and start saving today. Hi everyone, my name is Razil Kane. I'm back with another video. And today, part 4 of our deformation oversized Jin Bao Devastator uh, combiner. And today we're going to do one of the legs, Tantrum. And he's a good bull. I'm from up north Quebec where there was a lot of farms. I'm huge into Minotaurs. I love Minotaurs. Although Minotaurs don't really like, you know, when you compare them to cows. But I love this guy. This guy represents, you know, power, uh, defense. And also, you know, he's evil red Decepticon. So, yeah. I like this guy, uh, so we're going to do a review. I like his weapons, really nice. Um, so before I do that, I just want to remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out my interview playlist, uh, something I'm, you know, everly grateful the actors came over my show. And now let's roll the intro. Now with Tantrum, with all of his weapons already equipped, because they're hard to equip sometimes, so I prefer to do it uh, up front, but uh, nice looking guns. Again, if you want to see the assembly of the uh, bigger gun and the uh, sword, uh, there's going to be shorts here on that little gray bubble that pops up once in a while, so you'll be able to see that, but you know, not hollowed, looks good, so let's remove those. I love the weapon, uh, you know, um, the reverse grip uh, on it looks good with all the little, uh, not flames, but I, I guess golden flames and stuff, so looks really good. And I really like, oh, this is a piece of the foot, and you're supposed to have the fist here, but it's already on the arms of the guys, but I mean, this moves like this, so I'm guessing... This is gonna be my articulation for the foot, so we'll see in a moment. Um, and you're supposed to clip this on top of his back in beast mode. It's not happening. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's not working. We'll see, maybe this time I'll get it right. You know, cause it's not like the camera can uh, add, you know, difficulty. Uh, fun stuff, you can have two poses, two displays uh, for this. Uh, I like to display him like that with the broader shoulder, but if you like leaner, uh, you can unplug the foot quite easily, move this, and then still clip this. There's a clip here and the foot there, and put it here, but then you have more mechanical parts showing. It's up to you, uh, but maybe it's for the combined mode that uh, we really need this part here. But that's just, I guess, aesthetic choice. But. Uh, and from, I don't know why, but this, the little black clip here is harder to clip than uh, the gray one. He looks really good. I, like I said, I like Minotaurs. Uh, so this is kind of a mechanical one, if you want. Uh, not really, but you know, still, I like it. Uh, I love the, uh, the big glasses, the big chin. I mean, that's a big chin. Uh, nice chest with the silver gr uh, grill. Not too much silver on this whole set, so... I mean, a little bit, but I mean, this is a nice grill with, you know, crotch area to match. So, I like that. Nice knee guards. Uh, the, and the whole legs. It's, you know, big and beefy. Uh, I wish there was a way to hide this, you know, like uh, the Studio Series 86 Snarl and Slag. Uh, or any Dinobots, you could kind of hide this inside. Uh, that's not an option here. But it's nice. And him and uh, Arthead have a very similar uh, all transformation and actually mold. I mean, the legs are pretty much identical. So much that in the instruction for him, you have a different design here, which is the one that you have for Hardhead. So, you know, even the developers uh, didn't know what they were doing. So, yeah, I like him. Um, articulation, you do have a bit of a head rotation, you know, and a bit up and down. 
no attitude very much. You do have a nice Ferris wheel, no problem. Uh, the arms will go out like this. You have a nice elbow. Uh, he doesn't suffer from the razor claw problem, so that's cool. Uh, but the hands does not move more than this. Uh, here, okay. You have a double, like a four-piece rotation. So this moves, this move, this moves, and this move. So, but the thing is that this, um, you know, hexagon will hit this. So when you rotate him for transformation or just to do the merry-go-round, it's going to hinder it a little bit, like it's going to push it. So if you keep your merry-go-round, you end up with both of the things like that. So then you have to realign them. Uh, and it's it's no big deal. The thing I will, you know, when you do transformation, if these things pop out, they're hard to pop back in because of the angle you're going to be using uh, during the transformation. But other than that, pretty good piece. You do have a really nice, if you move everything out, a really nice Johnny Cage, no problem. You have a kick forward on a somewhat tight joint. You have a kick back. Uh, see, poop, pop. A little bit of pressure and they pop. Uh, this doesn't kick much more than that, but you can rotate this out of the way to get more kick. And honestly, they all have this piece here, but I think that's just aesthetics because I haven't seen, or maybe if, if you want to, you know, put the weapons in because you can't, you could, you can move them on the sides, you know, but it's just, but there's no explanation in the instruction which way to display them. So some of them I put in front, some of them I put in the back. It's all up to you. Uh, so, all right, knee band, um, foot, I hate these foots. Uh, they were like, now you'll see me do it and you're going to be, oh, that's nothing. Yeah, but when you don't know. It's really hard to, to, to figure out and the instructions are shit because they just say, oh, twist this, twist that, and it doesn't twist. Anyway, so there you go. So you have that, but still, you know, the foot you do have nice articulation, back and forth, for, you know, tilt, forward, and uh, tilt and rockers. So there you go. All right, let's do a quick size comparison for this guy. Let's remove the foot. Let's put him here. Let's go with the Ultra Class Silver Bolt from years ago. Scales well. I mean, this was a huge figure compared to uh, the ones we had uh, back then. And let's do the Yolo Park Megatron. I think it's you know he should be shorter if you want him to scale with uh, Megatron, but this looks uh, this looks good. And now let's go for a transformation. There you go. So you're going to want to line up everything, put the hand inside like this then you want to remove the legs unpin them from the back take this put it like this and then there's going to be uh, these pins are not going to come here between the two joints so that's actually pretty pretty well thought of and then flip it around a little bit let's do the same thing on the other side so that nobody's jealous And then you're going to turn the head and how does it go? Yeah, like this, and then you pull it down. Not pull it down, but you pull this down so that this can go inside the head like that. Sorry. So you have the nice horns, and then you have your nice forward section. And these things come out, and I don't know if it's just for fun or for the Combine mode, because I haven't uh, done that yet, so we'll see. Ah, there you go. All right, so now that you've done this, okay. <sighs> All right, so the, okay, the legs here are quite simple. You just pull this, and then this red thing here is gonna tab here, like that. And then you move this. But we'll place them later, but you know, you get the idea. Very simple, right? And then you un uh, unplug. It's not the same as Rampage or Dive Bomb, but you know, you can move them around. 
what's really annoying is the foot and now it's so simple for me to do because I've done them a thousand times while I was trying to figure out but it's the same principle as uh, Rampage and Dive Bomb but it was so annoying to do because it's hard to twist so basically you have to put this clip this hole here over this clip here right so you have to line this up so that it and that was the part I was having a problem with you want to line this up but then it has to line up with what's in the back so that you don't hit anything and then here it doesn't want to move you really have to force the ball joint to give way and then you put it over here and that's super easy compared to everything like doing it the other way around to put him from bull to robot took me forever because i didn't figure to line it up with this part here so basically you know I, it was like this and i'm like how how do i get this to flip i mean it's blocking here and then if i did it turn it you know a little bit like here i it i was open like that i'm like you can't move and then i'm like i don't get it and then when i figured it out you know like oh god this is so easy so i took uh, oh well, that's the first time that happened anyway so it's that's i guess that's the risk of forcing it so you know there you go so you have to be careful you have to take your time uh, boy, it's going to work. Now I can do it with my eyes, well, semi-close. You want to get the uh, bull leg out of the way first, though. And then, once that's done, uh, yeah, force it out. I hate forcing things. Come on. There you go. And once it's clipped, you leave it open, you lift, oh, no, 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 don't lift. This, when it's closed, it's gonna be, so you wanna rotate the waist. So that's when you wanna be careful with the other joints. So keep these things lined up, the little skirts, keep them on their respective side. Because if you unpop them here, when you're trying to do the leg, it's going to be quite annoying to put back because now you have to get them out of the way so that you can rotate this piece in front like this ah there you go see it unpops ah so unclip it what i do is i actually bring them forward here so now they're out of the way and once you're done doing the leg I put them like here you know just so that they can cover a bit of the toe so from underneath it looks a little nicer so leave them there uh, flip this like that come on what's stopping it there you go uh, yeah, you can clip it together, put these things down in the back, put these things here, and now close this, and then you move this, ah, it clipped, it went back in, clip this underneath, and then move this around. You want to keep this part here <clears throat> in the back so that you get the proper leg uh, display these things I mean they don't clip well I mean they do but not super well and there you go you have your mechanical bowl with there you go and now uh, you can put the blades uh, and I think they put them in front but it's it's not really stable so you have to push and be careful but you can put the blade in front and yeah he's gonna want to do the split most of the time so we'll just be careful with that it's a tight fit and I'm always worried paint is gonna come off so be careful and then you have in the back 
you put your guns. <coughs> it's not a super stable figure because the legs are a little loose. Yeah, come on. Things want to unclip. But once you've done it, it looks good. <laughs> I really like this guy. That's really good. He, he, he looks like a uh, mechanical bulk, no complaint. I wish we would have had more bull in Beast Wars. You know, it seems like cows would have been something present in prehistoric art. All right, so let's uh, put him on the side here. Oh, yes, one thing. That stupid thing here. So you see here, you have two black dots uh, or pins and then two holes. So you're supposed to line this up so that those two black pins go here and then this goes in there. And for the life of me, I can't, I, I don't know if something's getting in the way or if I'm not pressing hard enough because I don't want to break my figure. I'm guessing that's what it is, but it's not going in. So, and it, it would look goofy anyway, like, I don't know, it's uh, it's not for me. So this is going to remain here, and actually we're going to move it out of the way, and we're going to do the comparison. So here we have, if I can get him, there you go. So here we have Tantrum with Slag, and I think that would be a nice matchup. Uh, he's bigger than he should be, of course, because he's oversized. Uh, but, uh, you know, these two together, you know, battling out with horns. Uh, that'd be nice. Renacon, stop Dinobots first! And now let's make a foot. So let's remove the weapons. I'm guessing we're gonna have tons of fun with that. And again, don't forget to look at the shorts to see how this makes the big gun and the big sword. So, all right, so we're gonna turn the head first. And apparently there's a locking, okay, so there's a little pin here and a little hole here. So you wanna pin this. It says that it's supposed to lock. That's not gonna lock more than this. Then you wanna, where are the, no, there you go. So yeah, you wanna take this. And pin this here come on it, it's not pinning super hard we'll figure out which side first uh, later I mean uh, no this way there you go You know, that's kind of a foot. And this here. Turn it like that. And pin it here. And then reclip. And reclip. Alright, the arms don't have clips though, so they're just gonna hang there. And I just wanna check which side. Okay, so when they're like this, they want you to do the foot. So you take this and you turn it like that. And then there's two pins here. They're smaller than the arms pin. So this goes, it's hard to see, but this hole right here. And then you have this pin here on the bottom of the question mark. It's gonna go in that hole right here, like this. Okay, and then you close this over. Oh, this is gonna be fun. Uh, well, it was fun, all right. I just wanna make sure. Oh boy, that's, that's loose. Oh, wait. Okay, I can... There's a clip here in the back. They don't show you to do that, but you can lift this clip here. And I'm guessing... 
just I put it down too much now hold on whoa I want to pierce my fingers Ah oh, well whatever uh, it was a nice idea but then I'd have to I'll clean it up for the uh, the actual transformation and we'll see for the assembly how it goes so but now they say that I'm not done because I have to move the arm. So they say lift the arm up like this. And then from the back, oh, this is where you're gonna use this. Okay, all the way up like, okay, that's, that's the way I'm seeing it. Interesting. This is gonna go all the way down like this. So this rotates, okay, and this is like that, and then once this is lined up, oh, they're gonna, no, they're not gonna connect here. Oh, okay, so here there's a pin, there's a hole uh, in the foot of the robot, you're gonna pin it like that. So this has to stay there though, come on. Things unclip so easily on these Jinbao stuff though, that's that's one of their flaws. All right, so now I have this. Okay, so that pin here in the back, like this. All right, so now that I have clipped this, Hold on, gotcha. So apparently, yeah, these two will clip together. I don't know how, it says to lock them here, but I don't see how, because they have on each side the same clip, like clip at the bottom and then this all on top. So it won't, it won't do it, but what they want you to do is take this and lock it like that, but it doesn't lock, it just sits. Yeah, it kind of matches the shape, so it's kind of weird. So, anyway. Alright, well. Apparently that's our foot. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Oh, should have done that before. Oh, gee, there. That's a tight one. Okay, so I'll prepare this for the next uh, review, or I mean the assembly review, because that's gonna take some technique to remove. But there you go, from the back, you know, once it's all cleaned up like that, that's your foot, kinda. So sorry for the little mock-up at the end, guys. It's always a little messy to review combiners. Uh, but uh, I hope the display at the end is going to be well worth it. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also, leave a comment. Love reading those. Keep coming back. I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you a right to be an asshole. Take care.